Framing before running a job is necessary to ensure that your laser will engrave in the correct location on your material. This is used for alignment and is a required step for setting up your job. Galvo lasers use a red dot to quickly trace your design, and in Liper there are a few different framing options. We covered these in our recent Galvo framing video that will be linked in the description. The red dot laser is separate from the marking laser, and if not aligned properly will cause your engraving to be incorrectly placed. This misalignment can sometimes happen to the laser in transit or even during manufacturing. It is possible to open the laser and physically correct this, but in today's video we will cover how to quickly adjust this offset in Lightburn. To follow along, you will need to have your Galva laser set up in Lightburn. If you do not, links will be in the description to our setup video. You will also need to have applied any lens corrections manually or using a core file prior to continuing. If not, the adjustments you make to the red dot laser now will be incorrect when the correction is applied. We will be engraving a square that will be used to align our red dot laser with. For the engraving, we will use a black metal business card. You can use any material, but the black cards allow you to really see the contrast of the red laser. Hopping into Lightburn, start by selecting the rectangle tool in the left toolbar. Then, holding shift, click and drag in the workspace to create a square. In the top toolbar, we will set the square to 30 millimeters. 30 millimeters is a good size because it will give us some padding on our business card, and it is small enough to be traced quickly, which will help with alignment. Then press P on your keyboard to center the box in the workspace. In the cuts and layers window, select line from the mode dropdown list. Speed and power will vary based on machine and material, but for my 30 watt fiber laser, I'm going with 100% power and 200 millimeters per second with a frequency of 25 kilohertz. For good habits, let's click on the preview button to make sure we are happy with our output. We should see just a single outline pass, so we can close out of the window. Next, place the business card or item you are engraving on your laser's bed and set the correct focal distance. Then, click the frame button in the laser window to open the live framing dialog window. Once we have verified that our square will be engraving near the center of our card, click start to run the job. The rectangle will only take a split second to engrave. When the engraving is complete, do not touch the card. Any moving or bumping of the card will cause our offsets to be incorrect. If preferred, you can tape down the card prior to engraving to prevent any possible movement. When the engraving finishes, it will return to framing and we can see the offset from where the framing is happening and where our engrave was marked. For my laser, the red laser needs to be shifted over quite a bit to the right in X and slightly down in Y as well. In the top toolbar, click on the wrench icon to open the device settings window. Towards the top, we will see red dot with an offset X and offset Y text box. By default, both of these boxes will be set to zero. On my machine, adding a positive number in the X offset will shift the red dot to the right, while a negative number will shift it to the left. For the Y offset, a positive number will shift the laser forward away from you, and a negative number will bring the dot towards you. This is typically the results you can expect unless your machine settings are at a different angle. You can verify this when you start making your own adjustments. Underneath the offset is the scale X and scale Y text boxes. By default, this value is set to 1. Increasing the value will increase the size of our red dot frame for that axis, and decreasing will shrink our red dot frame. We will start by adjusting our offsets. This process will involve entering a value into one of the offset boxes and hitting the frame command to see the offset update. We will rinse and repeat this until our engraving and red dot frame are aligned. The goal is to have the red dot frame centered with our square engraved lines. For my laser, I know I need to shift the red dot to the right, so I'll start by entering 1 to apply a 1mm offset. Hitting the frame button, we can see the offset applied and that we still have a ways to go. Back in the device settings, I will increase the offset to 3 and run the frame command again. Now we are much closer, but we still need to go to the right a bit more. Once you are close, you can use the arrows on the text box to increase by half of a millimeter. In my case, half of a millimeter was too much, and 3.2 is the sweet spot to get the x-axis aligned. If when applying your x-offset, you get the red dot frame centered, but it still does not align with both the left and right of your square, you'll want to apply a scale. 
If the outline falls inside of the square engraving, you'll need to increase the scale. And if it falls on the outside of your engraving, you'll need to decrease until it's perfectly centered with the lines of your square. For my laser, it is nearly dead on and any adjustments to scale would be incredibly small. I'm gonna leave the scale value set to one. If you do need to adjust scale, you'll likely need to adjust offset again after getting scale set correctly. With our X axis set, all that is left is to repeat this for our Y axis. For my laser, this just needs a slight bump towards me, so we'll need to apply a negative value. Starting with negative 0.5 and running the frame, it looks pretty good, but it still feels a hair off. At negative 0.4, it looks perfectly centered with both the top and bottom lines. Just like with the X axis, you can apply a skill to the Y axis if needed. In my case, both the X and Y are near perfect, so we'll leave those values set to one. Now that our offsets have been set correctly, all that is left is to run an engraving. Our engraving now matches exactly with our red laser framing, which will allow us to make much more precise markings. You should now have a much better understanding of the process for applying an offset to your red dot laser. This process will be nearly identical for most Galvo lasers. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any new videos and check out our existing tutorial playlist for additional guides on mastering Lightburn.